This is my office. I'm lucky enough to patrol this beautiful state. We have about a thousand miles of coastline and some of the greatest biodiversity and abundance in the world. My name is Michelle Budish, and I'm a patrol lieutenant for the California Department of Fish and Wildlife's Law Enforcement Division. As a wildlife officer, my job is to protect the natural resources of the state. The mission of the California Department of Fish and Wildlife Law Enforcement Division is not only to protect California's natural resources, but also to provide prompt and effective response um, for law enforcement and public safety. There's about 40 million people that call California home, so it definitely is a big job. Even though California Fish and Wildlife was the first conservation agency in California, natural resource management actually was happening long before statehood. Native Californians have been the stewards of the land and sea since time immemorial and continue to be active stewards of our beautiful coastline. There are several marine protected areas that span up and down the coast of California. A marine protected area essentially is a geographical area that has specific protections put upon it as outlined in the California Code of Regulations, Title 14, 632. Not all marine protected areas are the same. There's different types of MPAs. State marine reserves, for example, do not allow take of any kind. So no take of living, geological, or cultural resources, while state marine conservation areas allow some commercial and recreational take. Uh, there's also state marine parks that allow recreational take only, and there's no take state marine conservation areas um, that don't allow take, but they do allow for maintenance of um, some existing infrastructure. There's also state marine recreational management areas that allow for waterfowl hunting and special closures that restrict access uh, to protect marine mammal haulout sites and seabird rookeries. There's a lot of human pressure on our, on our marine protected areas. There are 450 game wardens in the state of California and 50 of them are dedicated to marine enforcement. And just to give you uh, an idea of the scope or scale of things, Los Angeles Police Department has about 10,000 officers for the city of LA. And on, on our hand, we have 450 officers for the entire state of California. So we have a big job in protecting our coastal resources. We have our CalTIP program where People can call in an 888 toll-free number and call in violations via CalTIP. And on average, we receive approximately 6,000 CalTIPs per year where people are calling in and reporting violations. So the people of the state of California are our eyes and ears. Fish and Wildlife has really made a concerted effort to um, provide as many ways for the public to know about these marine protected areas as possible. Uh, so there's interpretive and regulatory signs in almost every public access. There are signs at launch ramps and harbors and marinas. There is a mobile app that people can access and get this information on their phone and brochures and a lot of other information. Also, the MPA Collaborative Network um, assists by bringing together all the local area experts in each coastal county. So uh, city, county, state, and federal agencies with nonprofits, with fishers and tribal members and aquaria and ocean businesses and scientists and educators, we come together to assist with local management of MPAs. We've also produced educational programs, docent programs, and we actually get out in the field and go to events and share this information with the public. So there's lots of ways for people to know about MPAs 
and we give everyone the best chance to comply with the regulations. In terms of the range of less serious to most serious violations, I mean, we could just have someone fishing on the beach, for example, right? And maybe they don't have a license. Um, something like that would likely be an infraction, right? But then we have violations that are a lot more serious, which is gross poaching and the tide pools and or commercial violations where that could be a misdemeanor. But we definitely take officer discretion into mind. Um, we also may have repeat offenders, which that's even worse because they know better. Occasionally we get people who specifically target marine protected areas because of the resources that are, that are in them. They know the big fish are there, the abalone, the lobster. Those people uh, knowingly will violate some of those um, MPA regulations. Given the high market value of some of our commercial fisheries like Dungeness crab, rock crab, lobster, for example, um, those penalties are much more steep. They are a commercial fishery, just like any business, and they're really expected to know the laws and regulations. Recently, Assembly Bill 2369 enhanced some of our commercial uh, poaching violations. Um, the, the fines can range from $5,000 to $40,000 for those who are intentionally poaching inside our marine protected areas. I think it's important that the judges and commissioners, you know, and our prosecutors really understand the importance of holding violators accountable and, you know, having these cases come to fruition because if people have no penalties, then what's gonna stop them from continuing to violate the law? We need to have accountability because if we don't have accountability, people have no reason to make a difference and change. Our wildlife is on the line. The area really allows for kind of a safe haven for wildlife. And if we don't see effective enforcement in that, what are we gonna have left for a future? If, if we don't protect what we have, there's gonna be nothing for generations to come. We're so fortunate to have everything we have in California, whether it's, you know, the fields, forests, or waters of the state, we need to protect that. If we don't, then we're gonna have nothing left. We have environmental factors alone that we can't mitigate for. So all we can do is what we can control and what we do have direct oversight for, and that's good prosecution.